Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Where last time we uh, created a new game engine and almost completed our uh, first console. And as we are aiming for a playtime of 42 years, we are nearing that the end of. Um, of this uh, of this uh, season of this let's play and to start off we have a legal complaint uh, that uh, we seem to have uh, violated some uh, patents and uh, to me this uh, well, this generous offer. This looks pretty much like uh, um, like a, a troll approach. So we have these options here: either pay the license, which we could afford. We have quite a bit of cash. We can go to court, uh, which gives us a 50/50 chance. Or we can rally the fans, which gives us quite a good chance of 90% to succeeding. So that's what we will do. And then our crew will slowly come back from their vacation. And... Okay. We were successful and we got a few more fans out of that. And then we will start with a new game. Large game. And what shall it be? Maybe a racing simulation for PC. Play system. And Mbox One with our new game engine. Monte Carlo. Car. Carlo, that's right. Simulation, and uh, maybe you know this, but uh, Monte Carlo simulation that's something uh, uh, from statistics and not from uh, racing. But you can look that up on your own because, frankly, I'm not really sure exactly what this is all about um, but I think uh, we should invest here in the uh, engine and also in the gameplay as gameplay seems to be important and of course we will go with the large booth here then have all the boost we can get. Um, marketing, large campaign. We have uh, a tendency strong audience for everyone. Which we are aiming at anyway. And we got a few more visitors again on the convention. Okay, dialogue's not that important, so... But we can have a bit more in the other departments, I think. That does our game quite well. 
and we are racking up the uh, research points here which we can then use to train our crew uh, and research new technologies uh, or concepts that we can then apply in future games or uh, more exactly probably future game engines so we add a bit more here in the graphic department and uh, we already have orchestral soundtrack uh, which I think would be better than uh, or we can have both surround sound and orchestral soundtrack so let's do that and and let's go with the last leg and of course as always there are quite a few bugs in here um, we will tackle them right at the end which actually is not good practice because if you notice you have bugs and uh, wait let them faster the costs of solving the bugs uh, increases over time so usually you try to fix bugs as early as you detect them Alright, now it's bug fixing time and of course um, well market normalized um, not to worry about here I think we're still pretty good for this game and uh, we should be on our way pretty soon all the bugs are out well a few more new ones coming in but so do some more points there so let's release the game we have achieved new records in uh, design and technology which is always good for a game then Emmanuel can go on a vacation we get the game review I expect high numbers here all nine it's not bad for a start we got in 110 another 10 and a third 10 so this should sell quite well so let's see about training here first um bit in technology you are more of an uh, all-rounder so maybe strengthen design a bit and here let's level up a bit on the technology side and here myself i'm an all-rounder as well um, so let's do a bit more training here and you can do the game report i would not expect anything too surprising Um, maybe researching some things and that leaves us with 40 research points virtual economy okay five millions 
and we are number one. Okay. Some news from now our competitors on the uh, console market. And I would expect our first console will not be that great a success. Uh, we still have to uh, learn our way with it, but. It is out now, it's available, which means uh, the next game we'll do uh, will be for this console as well. So, as we can only choose three platforms, one of the uh, other three will be switched to our own console. Okay, not really anything new. Then let's make a sequel. Um, maybe Rockstar. Medium game, yes, because otherwise our crew will become too tired um, rock hero and here well peace is not that great for uh, casual games but I guess swap is and we will put in our own console and then probably the GS. Yeah. Um, let's make it a 2D game. Here a bit more on storytelling, engine does not seem that important, so we can save there a bit. And then we can start on, and of course, also for this game, we will have a large marketing campaign. We will use the boost. Um, let's be modest here. Modesty does not do anything for the hype, but um, if you cannot leave, live up to the hype, um, you have a problem. So, yeah. Artificial intelligence, let's be a bit more conservative with our spending there and go with this. And here on this side you can see the bug tracker for our console. The red ones are the bugs and the green ones are the solved ones. And over here you can see the the sold units and you should also see it somewhere in the uh, income statement so keep one eye over there um, maybe we should increase the the budget here um, to one million so that we can appropriately tackle the uh, 
cash there and uh, or the, the box there and um, keep the uh, consumers happy um, yeah let's let's give it away then we have the game convention last time we were at eight point one point eight millions uh, fifty thousand more and we are nearing the uh, end here of course we have quite a few bucks but here you can see the number of bucks it's decreasing again and once we are at the low level we can think about uh, developing the next generation of our console all right a few more points here and there then we can go one buck uh, sneaked in at the last time this is not always avoidable but yeah how does it do the game it's an eight another eight and a nine and another nine Ooh, well that's that's pretty good um, and we can send the majority of our crew on vacation so they are rested uh, we need a game report here and then we do a bit more research um, let's do one of these and okay we are doing pretty fine and seeing that we are down here with the box let's develop a new uh, console which we name sc2 because we are so uh, imaginative we will have budget of 30 million I even wanted to go higher and what form factor shall we use ooh that one that one looks nice let's go with this one then we will have advanced physics in there as well and surround sound instead of stereo sound all right what does the game report say hopefully some insights for our own platform okay Casual is great for our console. Um, and let's make a new game, a large one. Um, Let's 
zombies and let's make an RPG game out of this. Leveling against zombies. That's how it is called. And our first choice here is our own console. Then let's see what choices we do have. PC has the largest market share, so we will use that one. And then the play system four. We could also go with the five. So, because we know the four is good for RPG, so I would guess the next generation would be very similar. But here we have a market share of 10.3%, and here. 9.3 so 1% difference um, let's go with the new one and of course we will have our top of the line game and in its 3d game and then we will start Yep, using the boost, um, large marketing campaign, and you can see our consumers or our users of our uh, console there quite happy that largely has to do with um, with our um, budget I guess so yeah Let's push on. We're a bit more than uh, halfway uh, through. So let's finish as strong as we can here. Here you can see, or you could have seen the um, different uh, uh, spanning uh, posts we have there so yeah it's not only wages anymore it's the labs it's the support and we also get income from our console large booth of course and now that we have a console from the console conference, we should then also see a peak up um, in the sales of the console after the conference. So it does not only affect the, uh, the hype or the selling of our current games, but also the ones for our console. And... 1.9 million one bug one fix let's release it's no new high score but 
Emmanuel leveled up even if uh, he's a bit tired. So he got a salary increase and a vacation. And and let's have a look at the review and with that final look we will end this episode um, and it looks like uh, this one did not as well as the previous two and if you want to know why you will have to come back in the next episode see you then goodbye